Well, welcome back. June is the start of hurricane season, and joining me in the studio today is the Chief of Emergency Services, Brad Monroe. It's so good Hello. to have you on the show Thank today. You, so, Chief, you know, everyone needs to start getting prepared now. You always preach that it's better to be prepared ahead of a storm than right before a storm. So, what should be people do? What should people be doing? Absolutely. It's, it's time now to get ready for the storm season. We know that we're having uh, predicted to have an average uh, storm season, but uh, I'm reminded that uh, Hurricane Andrew and, and Michael were both in average years, so it can, we have, can, can have a devastating storm. I'm urging folks to uh, get a plan, uh, plan out for what you might do if we're affected by a major storm. Uh, figure out if you're going to go to uh, visit friends out of state, if you plan to stay in your homes, uh, have a plan to, to hunker down, uh, take care of your pets and your neighbors and, uh, and older folks too. And I know you guys learned a lot, especially after Hurricane Michael. What are some of the biggest lessons that you would preach to people to do differently this if something were to happen again? I think the, uh, that most people tell me they would leave if they had to do it over again. So I encourage folks to have that plan uh, if whether it's for your family, uh, know where you're going, uh, have prearranged agreements with relatives or friends in other states uh, that you can get out of harm's way. And if you own a business, you can go to floridadisaster.org and there's a template there for creating a plan for your business. We know that about 40% of businesses, Hurricane Michael's a good uh, example of that, don't recover after a, a major storm. And I know you guys have a lot of tools on your website as well for people to help make that plan. Is there something that they can go to to see kind of what they need to write out and have ahead of time? Absolutely. You can visit the county's website, baycountyfl.org, and you can go down to emergency management. Uh, you can look at the, the surge zones for the area that you live in, the uh, flood zones, that sort of stuff. You can also uh, get a, uh, a link, there's a link there to Alert Bay alertbay.org. You can uh, subscribe with our um, um, media uh, system to whatever alerts you would like to have, whether it's um, tornadoes, uh, marine uh, uh, warnings, or even, even boil water notices for your area. And I know Alert Bay, you guys really want everyone here to sign up for Alert Bay. It's a very important service that you guys offer just to get everyone notifications and keep people up to date on what's going on here in Bay County. Absolutely. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. And be prepared and go ahead and start making your plans ahead of time or getting some of those essential items maybe put in a, a go bag or something like that. But stay tuned. We have more weather and news coming up.